Welcome back to Sermon SCT Prep. Today we're going to be tackling chapter 4, which is proportion. And we're going to walk through each and every chapter exercise. So let's look at the first one here. So we are given this equation here. And the question states that the electrical power P is related to the voltage V and resistance R by the formula above. If the voltage were halved, how would the electric power be affected? Alright, so let's just write this as P O because this is the old equation. So we have to rewrite this because the voltage was would be halved. So P nu will be equal to 0 0.5 V squared over R, which could be simplified to 0 0.25 P O. So we can see that the electrical power drops to a fourth of what it was. So the answer must be D. Julie has a square fence that encloses her garden. She decides to expand her garden by making each side of the fence 10% longer. After this expansion, the area of Julie's garden will have increased by what percent? All right, so the area of a square is A is equal to, let's say, S squared, where S is the length of each side. So the area of the new side, since it's 10% longer, must be 1.1s squared, which will give us 1.21s uh, squared. So it must be 21%. A right circular cone has a base radius of r and a height of h. If the radius is decreased by 20% and the height is increased by 10%, which of the following is the resulting percentage change in the volume of the cone? So what is the volume of the cone? So the volume of the cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared. And let's model this equation newly with the given information. So it's v nu is equal to 1 over 3 pi. Since the radius is decreased by 20%, it must be 0 0.80 r squared. And this is multiplied by 1.1 h. And this will give us, if we use the calculator, uh, 0 0.0704 V O. Now we got this equation. Uh, oops. So what we must do is subtract it by 1. So if you subtract 1 by 0 0.704, we'll be roughly given 29.6. So the answer is D. Alright, so the area of the trapezoid uh, above can be found by using the formula here. If the lengths BC and AD are halved and the height is doubled, how would the area of the trapezoid change? Alright, so we're given this old formula, we have to rewrite it like we've done for the previous questions. So let's do that right now. A nu will be equal to 1 over 2. So if it's halved, it's 1 over 2B1 plus 1 over 2B2. And since the half, since the height is doubled to H. And we can rewrite this as 1 over 2. We can factor out 1 over 2. 2. 1 over 2. B1 plus B2. Brackets. And multiply by H. Which will be equal to 1 over 2. B1 plus B2. H. Which is the old one. So, we can see that the area stays the same because the result is the same as the old formula. So it must be B. Alright, Calvin has a sphere that is four times bigger than the one Kevin has in terms of volume. The radius of Calvin's sphere is how many times greater in length than the radius of Kevin's sphere? So let's let R be the radius of Kevin's sphere. Let's X be the factor uh, the radius of Calvin's square is greater by. Okay? So since it's a sphere, it's 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And let's let this equal to v, which is volume, Kevin. So we're trying to find the radius of Calvin, right? So we can write this as 4 over 3 pi xr cubed, which can be rewritten as x cubed 4 over 3 pi r cubed, which is equal to x cubed, and we can just input the Kevin. And x cubed 
must be equal to 4. Yeah, because it's 4 times bigger. And so x is equal to uh, 1.59. Okay, so the answer is B. Alright, question 6. In the triangle above, the length of the sides relate to one another as shown. If a new triangle is created by decreasing S, such that the area of the new triangle is 64% of the original area, S must be decreased by what percent? So, the area of the original triangle is 1 over 2 S squared. So, let's find the for formula for the new triangle. So, let's let the area of the new triangle be 1 over 2 X S squared. And let's factor this out again like we did for our previous problems. X squared brackets 1 over 2 S squared. And this is equal to X squared over multiplied by the area of the old triangle. So, X squared is equal to 0 0.64 because the area of the new triangle is 64% of the original area. And now if you solve this for X, we'll get 0 0.8. So the answer must be 1 subtract by 0 0.8. So S might, must have been decreased by 0 0.2, which is 20%. Alright, we have a lengthy problem here. Question 7 and 8 refer to the following information. If the total em amount of energy emitted by a star each, each second is called luminosity L, which is related to the distance away from Earth, and B, which is its brightness measured in watts per square meter by the formula above. Question 7. If one star is three times as far away from Earth as another and twice as bright, its luminosity is how many times greater than that of the other star? So this question might be worded in a way that makes you think like, oh, it's harder than what we've done. But keep in mind that it's the same as what we've been done uh, in the past questions. So we just find a new area, right? New new formula. So L auto star is equal to 4 pi d squared b, which is the original formula given. And we need to find the new formula, which is L star, which is equal to 4 pi 3d squared multiplied by 2b and we can rewrite this as 3 squared times 2 4 pi d squared pi and b which is equal to uh, 3 times 3 squared times 2 is 18 so it's 18 and then we can rewrite this as l auto star so the answer must be 18 times Let's go into the last question. Astronomers see two equally bright stars, star A and B, in the night sky. But the luminosity of star A is one ninth of the luminosity of star B. The distance of star A from Earth is what fraction of the distance of star from star B from Earth? So we can write this equation as L star A. So let's write it as A is equal to 1 over 9 LB. So we can rewrite the formula given here again. So it's... 4 pi x d squared times b. And we can write this with 1 over 9. 4 pi d squared b. And if we factor this out, we get x squared. 4 pi d squared b is equal to 1 over 9. 4 pi d squared b. And we get x squared equals 1 over 9 because these two cancel out. And so x is equal to 1 over 3. So the answer must be C. Yeah. So these are all the problems for chapter 4. And I hope to see you guys again in chapter 5.